Well, I just thought I'd play the uh, first theme and, um, on the piano of my new piece called Candle. Um, the chords are, for this theme, A minor, F, G, A minor again. So it's A minor, F, G, A minor. Then I'm using bass notes with them. So, okay, A minor. Then I'm doing F, G, then A minor again. Now what, what's making this um, sound edgy is the fact that I don't use the bass note F with the chord of F major, which would be the most obvious bass note. So I'm not playing... But I'm playing A instead as the bass note. So I'm using... The chord of F is, is basically F, A and C. So I'm using the A note as the bass note as opposed to F. So it's as opposed to... Which makes it edgier. But I take it a step further and make it even edgier by um, creating an inversion. So I use the bass note of A with, with F major. But I also use A in the top half. So I change it from F, A, C to A, C, F. So it's the same notes but the orders change. So this gives it even more edge. So instead of playing it as the same chord, I'm playing it really edgy like this. Right, so I'll now play that whole riff including that edgy F major. So I'll just play it again and then point out the F major to you that's been made very edgy. That's A minor. Now F major made very edgy. Instead of. Okay. And basically you can make many pieces edgy by using uh, combinations like that. Or using notes... Um, for example, well, here's A minor again, but if you play it like this, and add a, and for example, it's A, C, and E for A minor. If you put a B in, so you go, uh, for example, here's A minor like that, but put a B in. So, A minor, but then put in a B, so it's, as opposed to, Okay.